Today we're going to be sharing our favorite RV gift ideas for the RVer in your family or maybe for yourself. That's right. Check it out. For those of you who may be finding this video through searching for gift ideas for your RV friends, just a little bit about us. I'm Chad. I'm Tara. And this is Daisy. If da you can see her through her misery. She doesn't like the hat. No, we're going to end this torture for her very soon. <laughs> we travel the United States and soon to be Canada and maybe Mexico. We don't know yet. That's right. We've been doing it for two years mm -hmm. now in our Grand Design Momentum, and we've been loving every minute of it. Mm -hmm. And in our videos, we share not only our travels and adventures and the different locations that we go to, but also this guy's pretty handy. Tips and tricks and how to's and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we ride our motorcycle Lucille pretty much everywhere we go. Yeah. All it's the cool the, places. We think it's the coolest way to see the country. Absolutely. So please check out our channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. Yep. And we're also on Instagram and Facebook. And we have a pretty cool website, changinglanesrv.com, that has a lot of blog posts and other things that you're not going to find on our YouTube videos. Quick disclaimer, everything we're going to share with you today is most likely an affiliate link. We do make mm -hmm. a commission on these they do not cost you anymore. So please use our links. We really appreciate it. Right. But please also know that everything we're going to talk about are products that we use on a regular basis and that we really, really love. And we're never going to share something with you guys or promote it if we don't use it ourselves. Right. That's kind of a general policy of ours. Right. Even though we're all decked out in this holiday attire, these gifts really are good for any time of the year. Yeah. If you're watching this in June, just pretend we're not really wearing stupid hats. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and because we like to stay away from the snow, this is as close to the snow as we're going to get. Yeah. But we thought it would be festive. Everything we share with you today, we will have links for below. And this is not a kind of a how-to or what we think about everything. We're going to jump through these really, really quick. That's right. But we will let you know if we've done a how-to video on a particular item. True. And let's just get into it. Let's show these people some gifts. And let's get Daisy out of her misery yeah, poor here. Poor Daisy. I'm taking this friggin' hat off. Puppy dog. A refrigerator thermometer is a really essential tool for RVing because RV fridges are notorious for having weird temperatures. It's true. This guy here connects to these remote temperature monitors. You put one in your fridge, one in your freezer. You'll know the exact temperature without opening the door. You'll also know the high and low to know if yeah, it went too I like high. That part. Yeah, to know if it went too high while you were traveling. Mm -hmm. So while we're standing right here, we might as well talk about the propane monitor, mm -hmm. which is da -da -da -da. this little guy right here. will show you your propane levels. Those also use remote monitoring systems. It uses Bluetooth, so you can also use your phone. While we're in here, let's show you guys the battery monitor. Yeah, this is a shunted battery monitor. It's a Victron BMV 712. A shunted battery monitor is the only way to truly know what's going in and out of your battery and to really know what kind of capacity and longevity you're going to have while you're boondocking. Yes. This product does require a bit of installation, so keep that in mind because it has to be it's shunted. It has to be put between your battery and everything else. May require some serious wiring. Depends. Also, while we're in this panel, let's talk about Surge Guard. Mm -hmm. We do have a whole video on the Surge Guard Total Electrical Protection System. That's right. So we'll link that up here. We won't go into detail, but an external unit would make a great gift. Oh, right here. Yeah. Hey, we got another one right <laughs> here. That's the benefits of living in a small box. Everything is really close. Yeah. We have a bunch of these things. Mm -hmm. Now we can't tell you with 100% certainty that they work, but these are pest control sonic devices. What we can tell you definitely is that these combined with the little sack things we're gonna show you with, uh, what oh, are the- hold on, right here. <laughs> these things. This is called Stay Away, and they have different products for keeping rodents away, insects, spiders yeah mm -hmm. so people always ask us about insects and things like that in the rv or rodents Ugh. and honestly we can't say definitely which one of these things is working but we know that these combined with these we've never had a roach we've never had a rat we've never had <laughs> we've had a spider here and there but we've had no other crawling insects no right. ants 
no rats, no. And I'll tell you something, I was really nervous about this before we moved into the RV because I am not a person that wants to see a mouse in her house. So I did a lot of research on this and we found these products and we've been using them since day one and we've had a lot of luck. So, mm -hmm. and they're pretty inexpensive. Another great idea is to get somebody a picture or something to hang on the wall that, mm -hmm. is, that is personalized or sentimental. And it doesn't have to be a Chad plus Terra picture. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to give them just any framed picture because glass hanging on the wall in an RV is a bad idea. Right. So Terra reframed all these using plexiglass. Yep. And you can't tell the difference. Yep. Check it out. So it also makes them lighter, which is great because when you hang them on the wall, you need... Command strips. Yes, we have command strips on everything we have hanging on mm -hmm. the walls. So that's a great gift idea. Make a picture for somebody, frame it in plexiglass, mm -hmm. throw some command strips on the back of it, and now you've got something already set and ready to go in their RV. Right, and speaking of command strips, they also make these really awesome waterproof ones for the shower that we have had hanging up for two years, and our towels hang on them every day, mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah, if you look at some of our videos, everything you see on our walls, even that really heavy, the hit real heavy one up there. The home sign, which yeah. is actually something that we did get on Amazon. So that will be in the links below. Mm -hmm. All held up with command strips. They've all been up there for two years now. Yeah. And I would say nothing has fallen off, but the reason this one is down, <laughs> it's because it fell off for the first after time. two years. Yes. and. It's kind of cool that that happened because we can show you that there was no damage done to the walls at all. No damage done to the walls, no damage done to the picture because it's plexiglass. Mm -hmm. It happened on a travel day. Mm -hmm. Must have hit a big bump or something. Yeah. That's Just follow the directions. You got to clean the area. You got to hold it for like 60 seconds. You do all that, you're not going to have any trouble. That's right. Since you live in an RV and your house is on wheels and it goes through an earthquake basically every time you're going down the road, you have to be careful what kind of dishes that you have. So. We have two different kinds. We have, da -da -da. so we have melamine or melamine, not sure how exactly you say it. It's basically plastic. Do not use these in the microwave. And we have Corel. These are more of your China type of glass. It's supposed to be a chip resistant, break resistant. Let's try it. <laughs> but this is our most used kind, paper. Especially when you're boondocking. <laughs> Along those same lines, if you're like us and you like to drink wine. Oh, I don't know if we've opened these since. I, I've opened them, yeah. oh. <laughs> We have plastic stemless wine glasses, which come in handy. And then... Anything else in there? Well, yeah, we have plastic tumblers and stuff too. So, all from Amazon. Another very popular item with RVers is... Da -da -da -da! Bam! Instapot. Yes, I am not a very good cook. And <laughs> now you're a good cook. You I'm, just don't cook often. Well, because I don't like it. <laughs> but this thing actually makes it a lot easier because you dump in all the ingredients and you hit start. It will do not only pressure cooking, but it'll also act as a slow cooker. Mm -hmm. And you can actually saute in this thing too. So there are a ton of recipes online and on Pinterest if you don't know how to use it. It also makes a great gift because it's two in one. So you get the pressure cooker and the slow cooker all in one. And saving space is what you need in an RV. 100%. Also, while we're in the kitchen. That's right. We use the zero water pitcher because campground water sucks. <laughs> yeah. This thing does a great job and it really does get down to zero. You can measure it. So the, the this particles is great. and whatever it is that they call it that's in a lot of the water, this thing filters out. You can check it on a regular basis to make sure that your filter is still doing okay or you may need to replace it. But they come in handy two packs or four packs and, and these usually last us a couple months at a time. Mm -hmm. We've had the same picture for two years. It's been right. great. Yeah, I'm talking about the filters. Oh, I know. And it depends on, you know, where you've been, what's in the water and where you've been and, and all that. It depends on how often you have to change it. But. Yeah, our RV and a lot of RVs do have whole system filters, which we have outside. It filters everything before it comes in. It's not gonna get it like this is. This is gonna get your potable water down to good, clean drinking water. Another thing on the household side, this guy right here. What is it, you ask? <laughs> it's an ironing pad. It's an ironing pad. We had one of the small foldable 
ironing boards, I guess is what you call it. And it folded up to about that thick and that wide and it was just bulky and we never used it. And we don't iron very often at all, but on those occasions where something's really wrinkled and you really need an iron, it was a pain in the butt to dig it out from under the bed. Yeah, so this, this thing, thing just folds up flat. Piece of cake. Put it right on your table or counter, mm -hmm. iron away, good to That's go. That's it. All right, so this one is one of my favorites and I don't know why we took so long to get it. Yeah, if you saw our RV tour video, you know that we have a built-in central vac, mm -hmm. which is awesome, but the pain part of it... Oh man, I didn't vacuum nearly as much as I should have or really even wanted to because of the hose. It seemed to get more use with us with just a broom than it did with the, with the long vacuum hose because it was heavy and it was bulky and it was difficult to just use on the fly. Right. So we found a solution and I love it. And I didn't mm. think that I was the kind that was going to get excited over a vacuum cleaner, but... Dyson obviously makes one of these, but it's priced like a Dyson. Right. This thing does a great job. It was much less expensive. Yeah. It's just so easy to use. It's so easy to empty with just this little thing. And it comes with a bunch of different attachments. Pop it off. Yeah. You can use it as a little handheld for the truck or whatever you need to use it for. We love it. It's one of my favorite things that we've purchased recently. What else? Speaking of Dyson, <laughs> that's the next thing. The next thing that we have is actually Dyson. Boom. And it's also awesome. Yeah, this thing, it is a little bit pricey. It's the bladeless fan slash heater. Dyson hot cool. Mm -hmm. And we've had this pretty much since the beginning because a, you're gonna have parts of your RV that may not get as much heat as others. For us, it's our garage. Right. And it's also just nice to have it, to, even in the bedroom, to plug it in. It's quiet, that's key in the bedroom for us. Another really cool gift idea for your RV or friend is a Harvest Toast membership. Oh my gosh, what a cool idea this would be as a gift, even for yourself. Yeah. Harvest Host is this really cool membership that allows you to stay overnight at hundreds of different wineries and breweries, museums. Farms. We've done a couple of videos. One of the packages that they can add on later is a golf package. Mm -hmm. So they have golf courses. Yes. We'll link to those videos so you can see more about them, but it's really cool. They're made for just one, maybe two nights while you're traveling. Right. Why not stay at a winery while you're traveling? So much more fun than spending the night in a Walmart parking lot. Yeah, just a little bit. We interrupt this video to bring you this special update. <laughs> That's right. After filming this video, several of our partners reached out to us with some special Black Friday deals. So... Harvest Host is giving the biggest discount they've ever offered at 20%. It's good now through the end of the year. Details below. We are the only ones that have this discount right now, so use it. Cash in. <laughs> On the topic of membership, we're not affiliated with the National Park System, but having a National Parks Pass as an RVer is a must. So Absolutely. that might be a really cool idea as a gift for the RVer in your life. Yep. One of our favorite outdoor items is this bam. Thing. It's the solo stove. Yeah, let's show let's, let's show just how big it is here. Let's go stand by. Bam. Solo stove. <laughs> the reason that I love the solo stove is because it puts out a lot less smoke than your typical campfire. Yeah, it's a little bit steep for a little fire ring thing, but it's really pretty cool. You see all the holes around the edge and on the inside. It's designed to have some really cool airflow in there somehow, mm -hmm. and it burns so clean. It does, and yeah. that's the reason that I really like it, mm -hmm. because I don't like smelling like campfire when I go to bed. A couple quick tips. I know this isn't a tip video, but hold on. Oh yeah, show them the case it comes yeah. in. Tip number one, get the kit that has the case mm -hmm. because when you put this thing away with all the ashes and stuff, you don't want that floating around your basement, so get the kit. We've been to a couple of uh, campsites that require you to have a covered fire pit. And bam, bought an extra one of these top rings, metal zip ties, chicken wire, boom, cover. Boom. I don't like bugs. We like to sit outside. We don't like bugs. So we've tried different contraptions. We right. tried the little things with the cartridges that go in. They're supposed to, you know, emit something that doesn't do bugs. We've tried the natural stuff and the sprays and all of that. And what works best for us are these tiki torches. Very simple. 
We found this stuff on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Works great. Citronella formula. Right. And he came up with this really cool idea on how to prop up the tiki torches when we're sitting around so that we can have them just not sitting around on the ground. The, right, uh, around the perimeter. And they are these. They're actually meant to be, I think, drink holders, but they hold our tiki torches. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool it's, for holding your beer, too. Yeah. So, another item that we have a full video on and we love, we get asked all the time if we still use it. And the answer is yes, we just used it like an hour ago for lunch. <laughs> and that's. We get out of the way. The Blackstone griddle 22 griddle. inch griddle we also have a video on how we hook it up to our propane mm -hmm. but this thing is awesome not just for how it cooks and the fact that you can also cook eggs and stuff like that on it but because the cleanup is boom right this afternoon i cooked just some burgers actually no matter what i cook on this thing the thing is cleaned before i go inside yep. don't have to worry and the about food it is still hot yep. when he comes in to eat it so i love it because it gets him to cook mm -hmm. And then you mentioned the propane. Yep. So you want to talk about the gas stop? Just talk about gas stop. So this is something that we also have a video on that we will link up here. This guy right here is called a gas stop. Mm -hmm. Its sole purpose in life is to shut off your gas in the event of a catastrophic line failure, lines cut, tire blown lines, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, your propane tank by itself does not completely shut off the gas. That's right. And like I said, we have a video showing you how to do it, how to install it, and what you just said, that the, the propane tank does not completely shut it off by mm -hmm. itself. If you watch our videos, you know that I'm thorough and I'm very crazy about this stuff. So I like to not just take their word for it. I tested it for myself right. and yeah, they were right. And it's awesome. And it's not that expensive. That's right. Something you need to have in the RV life is a ladder, but mm -hmm. obviously you want one that doesn't take up much space. Right. <laughs> this guy bam so not only is it great for whatever your typical ladder needs are on the outside we also use it when we have company staying with us in the office slash guest suite to climb up on the the queen size bunk because the ladder that comes with the rv the rungs are really small and it they hurt your feet. They hurt your feet. <laughs> this is much better. So we use it inside, outside, whatever yeah. we need it for. Great. Fits right in the basement. They also do make one that's an A-frame style. So if you want to have one that's standalone to get to certain things, I do find that sometimes I have to lean this against things that I'm not 100% comfortable with. <laughs> uh, but it's a great ladder. Got great <laughs> reviews and it's worked great for us. So the next thing that we're going to talk to you about, you don't need a ladder for. Mm, this is true. Mm -hmm. And this is a really messed up, obviously not straight from, <laughs> it's obviously been used. We have a how-to video on how to use this. Yeah, this is the Wash Wax All Kit. It's by Aero Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. It has this wedge and a pole, we'll link a video up here. It's a whole complete set and you can get this RV clean by yourself without a ladder in what, two hours? Yeah, I do about a half an hour per quarter. A lot of times I do them on different days, but the cool thing is it's a dry wash wax, so you don't have to have a hose, you don't have to have permission from the RV park. Right. It's a great little kit, I use it all the time. This right here. Right, these are RV snap pads. So we tried the Anderson Jack Blocks for a while, that are the big red cans, and we broke nine of those things. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just did not do well. Now, if you're using those and you love them, great. We broke a ton of them. Right. These things snap right on. They make a greater footprint. They're rubber, so they stick. But you don't have to take them on and off every time you so leave camp. camp and set up camp. Mm -hmm. but these are a great gift idea. You do need to know what kind of RV they have. We'll have a link in the description that you can go and you can plug in what kind of RV they have. It'll tell you what kind of snap pads to get. And one thing that we've used only a couple of times, so we can't 100% say that it's the absolute perfect kayak, but we got an inflatable kayak mm -hmm. because we didn't have a place to store a regular kayak and we didn't want the hassle of having to set up some kind of, I guess, carrying system for the kayak. There's our kayak. Normally it sits in the back seat of the truck because nobody really sits back there. And this bag is big enough for two life preservers as well in there. Mm -hmm. It comes with its own pump and it comes with the two um, cores, right? Mm -hmm. And everything- All collapsible, everything fits in this bag. Yes, this was the easiest way that we found to travel with a kayak. 
<laughs> it's very durable. Yeah. Another deal that we've just been made aware of is... Techno RV, our friends Eric and Tammy, have a secret Black Friday sale. I say it's secret because they aren't allowed to advertise it because the prices are so, so low. That's it's not true. A, <laughs> it's really it's, true. It's not a joke. They really can't advertise it because of the deals they have with their partners and vendors. But they can have those prices and we can tell you about it. Right. Limited time only. So see below for the details. Yep. Okay. Well, clearly we're in the truck. We got a lot of gadgets in here that make great gifts. Go ahead. Any and every RVer needs a TPMS. This TST model, full color. We did a whole video on it. It's a great TPMS. You can get both capped and flow through sensors, and it's good for class A, class B, fifth wheels, whatever you want. We've got sensors all over the truck and the fifth wheel, so we're monitoring 12 tires. Tires are important. Your whole yeah. life's riding down the road on them. Yeah. So make sure you keep an eye on them. Also, a great thing to have, walkie-talkies. These walkie-talkies are the only way that we'd really be able to communicate with each other when we're trying to park the beast because the RV is so big that there's no way he's going to hear me with the noise of the truck and I'm all the way behind the RV, yeah, I mean, like 60 feet behind where he is, basically. Yeah. So these are a fabulous way for me to communicate with him. Yeah, you may say, oh, use hand signals or cell phones. Hand signals aren't great. You can't always see your uh, backing partner. And, and you don't so, always have great cell service yeah, either. Cell, cell signals aren't always great where you're camping. Radios will work everywhere. And this was an inexpensive yet very valuable tool for us. Mm -hmm. Use them every time we travel. Absolutely. So speaking of travel days, another essential for us was to get a dash cam. Mm -hmm. you know, we've got our camera up here that we use to talk for our YouTube channel that's different than this guy. But this thing is cool because depending on what size card you put in it, it does a loop of five-minute clips. So it's always running, always recording. Mm -hmm. It records both outside and inside the truck. It also, with the GPS mount, records your speed and location. So if you're ever in an accident, you have all kinds of data to back you up to show that it wasn't your fault. Right. Something else that we do not travel without is our RV GPS. Yeah, it's very important to us. And we did a whole travel planning GPS video. And since then, Techno RV has stopped selling this particular GPS. I guess there were some support issues between them and Rand McNally. But we still really like ours. It's been great. Now, we do also trust Eric and Tammy's decision to switch. Uh, we're going to put links to both the one that we use and the one that they recommend in the description below. The key is to have an RV-specific GPS because you put in your RV's dimensions, your height, your weight, all that good stuff, particularly the height, because you don't want to be routed under any low bridges, things like that. Yeah, yeah. So a couple of quick safety items that you can buy for your fellow RVer. Number one, fire extinguishers. At least one extra fire extinguisher. Probably if you're an RVer, you're going to want several. Uh, we did a fire safety video you'll want to check out. Yes. Also, we carry around these triangles. Mm -hmm. We also hold on. <laughs> we also have this first aid kit. And again, this is a 250-piece kit. A lot of people would recommend maybe a bigger kit or a trauma kit, which is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't know how to use all that stuff in there, you have it. And somebody, hopefully somebody at the scene, if there's a bad accident, hopefully it's not yours. Hopefully you never need to use this stuff, guys, but you got to have it on hand just in case. Mm -hmm. And then... These are flares. They're LED flares, so you don't have to worry about fire and stuff. Mm -hmm. And these are all just great things to have. Hopefully you never need them. You could put together a whole safety kit for your RVer. That'd be kind of a cool gift. Mm -hmm. We got an overwhelming response in our recent video about fueling. And everybody wanted to know what kind of bed it was that we had Daisy in. Mm -hmm. So we thought that this would be a great gift for those RVers in your life that have smaller dogs. Daisy loves it. Wow. She doesn't like travel day, but she likes this bed a lot better <laughs> than her other bed. Another super critical item to have when you're RVing is an air compressor. Mm -hmm. Your tires on most RVs are rated too high in pressure for your typical gas station. Plus, you don't want to be out in the middle of the road and have to air up a tire. Or on travel day when you're prepping to leave, we check all of our tire pressures. Yes, we don't have a whole video on our travel day checklist 
if you want to see that. Mm -hmm. Bam. These right here, the Vi Air RV compressors will get plenty of pressure mm -hmm. and you need one. Yep. Those are just a few ideas that we had for you guys for gift giving for the RVer in your life. As you can see from following us around, everything we showed you are things that we use personally. With two years of full timing now, we've tested them all pretty well. These are some of our favorite things. We thought we'd share them with you guys. Hopefully we've made your gift buying easier. If you're like us, we do all our gift buying online. We don't like going to the stores. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. you know, as we said before, a lot of these things you'll find in our Amazon store, which we'll link below. And we are affiliated with most of the things that we talked about today. Mm -hmm. Techno RV being a good one. They're great partners. They have great support. If you have any questions about any of the items that we showed in our video, or even things you might have just seen as mm -hmm. we were panning around, please comment below. Let us know your questions. Yeah, if you have any other ideas that we missed, let us know. Mm -hmm. Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. We hope you all have a wonderful holiday season, and we hope that if you're new to our channel, you check out some of our other videos. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe and check it out. One thing you may not know about our videos is we usually have outtakes at the end, so stay tuned for those. Happy holidays, people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, I'm so uh, Ready? You wanna say happy holidays, or do you want me to say it? Happy holidays! Oh, we're going. <laughs> oh, God, my. It hurts. I'm all. Yeah, really nice. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? It's probably jam packed behind the food. It's, um. Here, let me get in here. Let's see. Good thing this isn't a live video. <laughs> picture of Tara Hart Chad, but, uh, Chad Hart Tara. Or, okay. <laughs> well, I heart you. Hundreds of different farms, breweries, museums, wineries, farms. Did I say farms? Vineyards? You said farms twice. <laughs> oh. Found on the farm. Let's do it again. Did you actually put it away? I did. Well, that's weird. Yeah. These 100%. are some of our favorite things. Some of our favorite I'll do my part over too. So Thank you. Okay. Happy holidays. Can we do it again? Well, Happy gonna... holidays. <laughs> <laughs> so on our channel, Changing Lanes, by the way, we travel all over. Awesome. <laughs> do it again. Well, she hears oh. this. Oh, she's licking her chops. <laughs>